Hello and welcome to Ray Live and I hope everybody who is watching this is having an awesome day. Me? Doing good man, no complaints, back to work, the long weekend is over. So I do have some news for you in this video. The first topic that we'll be talking about is Euphonic silences in Tsigi Mazwai via the courts. Media personality as well as poet Ntsigi Mazwai has definitely given a whole new meaning to speaking your mind, especially on social media. Now, of course, this has caused a lot of people to dislike her. Now, people do feel that she often steps on people's toes every time she tweets, and this time around, it's no different. Her tweets have landed her in trouble. So, disgraced DJ Euphonic has pleaded with the poet to keep his name out of her tweets and, of course, with the help of the law. Now, Sunday World have reported that DJ Euphonic Euphonic applied for a court interdict at the Johannesburg High Court to stop Ntsigi from tweeting about him, as well as her calling him a rapist and an abuser. Now Ntsigi along with many women and men of South Africa who are against abuse of all sorts, you know the gender based violence, did come through and urge entertainers not to book Euphonic who goes by the name Temba for any gigs. Now this was after DJ Black Coffee booked Euphonic using his real name for his birthday gig. I suppose maybe hoping that people wouldn't recognize that it was the rape accused DJ Euphonic. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, DJ Euphonic is actually it no longer goes by DJ Euphonic, it goes by DJ Temba. So I will try by all means for the rest of this particular topic to refer to him as DJ Temba. But you know, the Euphonic will slip in here and there. But moving right along, DJ Black Coffee did celebrate his 45th birthday with a Deep in the City concert where he had several DJs lined up, including DJ Temba aka DJ Euphonic. So here's the poster of the event that DJ Black Coffee posted up as you can see over there and there's the lineup and uh, you can clearly see DJ Temba is on that particular lineup. Now one user did write something, uh, I wrote the following, you move funny sometimes and I think somehow you are also problematic. Why did you use Temba instead of Euphonic? Why are you working with an alleged sexual offender? Now, like I said, DJ Euphonic has sort of like transitioned, he's moved over, he's now DJ Temba. And this is not something new. I, I believe it's over a year now since the name changed. But nonetheless, you know, maybe people didn't catch it. It's not like Black Coffee was being sneaky. DJ Euphonic himself did say that he is now going by DJ Temba. Nonetheless, social media was definitely up in arms. People were calling DJ Black Coffee a rape apologist and saying that he's also problematic, as you saw in that tweet. This also included Ntsigi, who had a field day with with them and of course you find it ish, Temba was enraged by this and had taken some certain measures to stop Ntsigi Mazwai from badmouthing him. Now apparently Ntsigi Mazwai actually tweeted the following, if you want to see the other rapists, watch who is rallying behind other rapists. When DJs put each other on the lineups, it's like an invitation to a rapist groupies party. Now Ntsigi also added the hashtag mute euphonic. There was also another tweet by Ntsigi Mazwai that reads as follows, and you will rally and clap hands like a bunch of monkeys who can't tell right from wrong. A gig with predators and violent men in the lineup, nice. Now these type of tweets along with uh, many others have actually not been deleted by Ntsigi as per Euphonic's request. Now he claims that Ntsigi is trying to portray him as a rapist and a person of low morals. But yeah, DJ Euphonic has taken Ntsigi Mazwai to court, but it does seem that Ntsigi Mazwai has ignored letters requesting her to retract the post and apologize to Euphonic DJ Temba. Now before we move to the next topic, please do me a huge favor. If you are enjoying the content here on Red Live, do give this video a huge thumbs up. It does help out a lot. And also if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed, do hit that red subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be notified of future uploads. Our next topic, boy, this hot clap back to Ntsigi Mazwai. So we are actually staying with Ntsigi Mazwai. Now this particular topic has us questioning is Ntsigi Mazwai as well as AKA trying to come after boy, D. Now 2020 was a difficult year all around, but clearly a few celebrities are coming through and making 2021 a better year as some celebs have come up with some recent power moves. Now Ntsigi Mazwai took to social media to blast celebrities for starting alcohol brands without any degrees. So Ntsigi Mazwai posted the following on twitter all your celebs have booze but no educational degree all right personally i don't get it shouldn't we be commending those that are able to get into the booze space without that educational degree but nonetheless it does seem that boiti did catch wind of this particular tweet and she replied by posting two pictures of her new drink and captioned it cheers sometimes the simple and minimalist answer is kind of the best what is that saying about less is more 
Now, I did mention AKA and AKA has taken to his Twitter account to sort of like shade South African celebrities with alcohol products. Now, AKA's tweet came just a day after Boiti announced her new alcohol brand, BT Signature. AKA tweeted the following, any South African celebrity with an alcohol product, you are welcome. I single-handedly built this industry and that's facts. Now with AKA, we'll never know if his tweet was innocent or not, but of course some Twitter users felt that AKA was coming after Boiti. One user wrote, You just couldn't swallow it, could you? But we are here now, black women are breaking walls and entering in spaces patriarchs like you never thought they would. At Boiti, congratulations again, queen. Another user wrote, Boiti is catching stray bullets. Now as you can see there, the responses are a little bit divided as others concluded that AKA was coming at all celebrities who own alcohol products. One user wrote, give credit to others when it's due. Bonang did it best. Kuli China, last I checked, was doing well. But right now we are giving the best credit to Zintle for the MCC Boulevard. She didn't just have two bottles with her name. She became the CEO and got equity. Now that is huge. Now we'll say this, perhaps AKA's tweet was aimed at Boiti, which wouldn't be the first time that AKA has kind of had an axe to grind with Boiti. You remember that time when Boiti was dragged for writing, do these roaches not have jobs, sitting, bitching and gossiping on Twitter all day, sis? And AKA the following morning actually tweeted, good morning brothers and sisters, being unemployed does not make you a roach, especially in these difficult times. You miss 100% of the shots that you didn't take, believe in God and yourself, today is your day let's go but like i said man boiti and aka it does seem that like there's something between them our next topic comes at the small's raunchy video raises some eyebrows so the piano king comes at the small has given a lot of homophobes some mini heart attacks following a raunchy video shared on his twitter account now comes at the small shared a video of himself doing a dance caressing a bottle that was held against a male's friend's crotch uh the male friend being lichesa now i will say this i do follow comes at the small i see what he posts he's a very he seems like a very goofy guy who's got a very weird sense of humor and most of the stuff that he shares does leave people in stitches but the latest video he dropped uh it's not pe leaving people in stitches huh? the video has gotten some mixed reactions from people some even wanting him to come out of the closet as they say now i also saw that there was a similar video that was posted but this time it's done by two two ladies over there uh, uh watching cubs as one and watching the ladies one for some reason in my brain the ladies one is better but i kind of get why at the end of the day, it's up to you. Make up your own damn mind what you think. But Cubs are the small as long as he's having fun. That's all that matters, right? And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Red Live if you haven't. And binge watch my previous videos.